Are your critical emails not reaching inboxes? You may need to switch to a platform that puts deliverability first. In this video, we compare MailTrap, a platform that handles both marketing and transactional email, with MailerLite and MailerSend, which split these responsibilities between two separate tools. This will allow us to compare their performance in terms of throughput, failover, stream control, and analytics. And we'll also take a look at how email marketing is supported on each platform, campaign creation, template testing, and performance analytics. So keep watching. Hello, and welcome to MailTrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. To kick things off, a quick clarification. While MailTrap is an all-in-one email platform for sending transactional bulk and marketing emails, and for testing them as well, MailerLite and MailerSend handled those tasks separately across two platforms. That means two dashboards, two sets of credentials, two support teams, and no shared billing. So even if you sign up with the same email, it's important to keep in mind that you'll be managing two completely independent systems, which can increase setup time, create extra steps for your team, and make it harder to keep your marketing and transactional workflows in sync. Now, back to the comparison. First up, we'll tackle transactional sending. With no rigid rate limits in place, MailTrap allows sending up to 500 emails per batch via API. For SMTP, the default cap is 10 concurrent connections per one IP, but this is just a soft limit that can be raised based on your use case. The platform also implements dynamic throttling, allowing it to automatically adapt to system load and sender behavior. And if you're looking for granular control, domain-level throttling is available on request. In terms of failed deliveries, MailTrap retries for up to 24 hours using intelligent pacing. Hard bounces are detected instantly and skipped on retry. MailerSend, by contrast, enforces hard limits on request volumes with 120 API calls per minute for single emails and 10 calls per minute for the bulk endpoint. SMTP is also limited to 120 requests per minute, meaning, in real terms, MailerSend caps throughput to a few thousand emails per hour, depending on your plan and reputation, of course. While bulk sending is supported, there's no stream-specific throttling, and pacing behavior is entirely internal. MailerSend retries soft failures for up to 72 hours, but you won't have visibility or control over that process, which is not the case with MailTrap, as it provides you with clear retry headers. Reliability-wise, the platforms again differ significantly. MailTrap offers 99.99% uptime, running on a US-based AWS infrastructure with automated failover. With MailerSend, Uptime hangs around the 99.5% mark, and its infrastructure runs primarily on AWS in the EU. And although MailTrap operates from a single region, its internal MTA logic supports separation by stream type or by use case, allowing you to isolate marketing and transactional traffic for better deliverability and control. MailerSend, however, doesn't offer configurable routing based on geography or message type. Instead, all emails flow through the same system, limiting flexibility for organizations that require segmented delivery paths or strict compliance handling. When it comes to stream control, MailTrap lets you assign separate domains to different email streams, with each domain acting as an isolated environment for routing transactional, marketing, or bulk traffic. Domains are set up with distinct API keys, webhook configurations, and authentication logic, so you can manage deliverability, track performance, and apply custom settings independently. This structure supports true multi-tenancy, allowing you to isolate tenants, products, or environments, and to apply different sending behaviors, routing logic, or monitoring setups per domain. MailerSend, on the other hand, only supports tags and metadata to label different types of emails, but it doesn't offer true domain-level separation. As a result, multi-tenant setups in MailerSend require additional logic and infrastructure on your side to keep traffic segmented and deliverability optimized. Okay, so we've established that transactional email sending looks quite different across these two platforms. But beyond setup and sending, one of the most important factors to consider when choosing a platform is how much performance insight it provides you with. With MailTrap, Visibility is given to you through helicopter view dashboards, drill down reports, and industry best analytics to monitor your email performance. MailTrap's actionable analytics allow you to keep up with opens, clicks, and deliverability metrics in detail. And the platform provides custom domains for link tracking and breakdowns by mailbox provider. Plus, if you need data to troubleshoot and optimize, activity logs are stored for up to 30 days, 
Mailer Send also provides real-time activity logs and basic analytics that show email status events like deliveries, opens, clicks, bounces, and spam complaints. You can inspect API and SMTP logs, filter by response codes and endpoints, and review payloads to help identify issues. However, the data is more surface level compared to MailDrop, with no mailbox provider breakdown, limited visibility into failure diagnostics, and short log retention just 7 days on pro plans and 14 on enterprise. This means that, while MailerSend covers the basics of delivery tracking, MailTrap is better suited for teams that need long-term visibility and deeper performance insights. Now that we've covered transactional emails and all the platform features related to sending these types of messages, it's time to see how MailTrap and MailSend's sister platform MailerLite compare in terms of email marketing features. But before we get into that, just a quick reminder to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our other email API flexibility breakdowns and other valuable videos. With MailTrap, all of its email marketing features are built directly into the platform, making it easy to go from concept to inbox without switching tools. You can build templates using a visual drag and drop editor or raw HTML, depending on your workflow. For teams working with code, the template API offers full programmatic control. The built-in handlebars engine supports dynamic personalization at scale and the pre-send testing makes it easy to catch issues early. All of this is tied together with template analytics and batch sending support, giving you a strong foundation for reliable, high-volume marketing workflows. MailerLite offers a full suite of marketing tools covering newsletters, landing pages, sign-up forms, A-B tests, and visual automations. It's designed for non-coders and makes campaign creation easy. Beyond the basics, it also supports auto-resend to non-openers, e-commerce blocks, and countdown timers. In a nutshell, MailTrap gives you a flexible environment where both marketers and developers can collaborate efficiently on campaigns, while MailerLite focuses on delivering an easy, standalone experience specifically for creative teams. So, we've explored how these platforms handle both marketing and transactional email. But beyond features, there are universal aspects of an email platform that every team should evaluate regardless of what types of messages it's used for. And first up is integration flexibility and developer experience. After signing up for MailTrap, you can see right off the bat that the platform is built for integration. It offers a clean RESTful API, SDKs, and open API documentation. On top of that, through integrations with Zapier and Make, MailTrap connects seamlessly to over 7,000 external apps, so you can easily plug it into your existing tool stack without heavy custom development. Other integrations include tools like NA10, Heroku, and so on. MailerSense API is solid and comes with SDKs for major languages. Integration-wise, it doesn't offer native integrations beyond basic webhook and SMTP setups, so deeper automation or ecosystem connectivity often requires custom development. MailerLite, on the other hand, being a marketer-focused platform, offers a variety of native integrations with popular platforms, including Shopify, Stripe, WordPress, and WooCommerce, right out of the box. It also supports Zapier, Make, and other third-party automation tools, simplifying things for non-technical users who want to connect their email marketing workflows to external apps without needing custom code. As the last part of this comparison, we'll have a quick look at onboarding and support, so that you know what to expect as a new platform user and in situations where an error might occur. With MailTrap, you get personalized onboarding for high-volume senders, IP warm-up planning, and guidance for scaling safely. Along with that, you also get access to engineers and deliverability experts around the clock to assist you with any unexpected issues. If you go with the Mailer Lite and Mailer Send combination for your email sending, you'll have to rely on different help centers and support teams for ticket-based assistance. And if you want personalized onboarding, you'll have to be subscribed to a higher tier plan and to go through separate onboarding cycles. So, what'll it be? One unified email delivery platform or a two-piece combo with a side of fries? Am I the only one who's hungry after <laughs> this long comparison? W what are we doing for lunch? Jokes aside, if you're building for scale and want one platform that handles it all, transactional emails, marketing campaigns, pre-send testing, and stream separation, MailTrap is built to keep up. With it, you'll get fine-grained control over how each email is sent clear analytics across all message types, and 24-7 support from real deliverability experts. Of course, Mailer Lite and Mailer Send work well for their individual purposes, but using both adds unnecessary complexity, less visibility, and more room for things to slip through the cracks. 
So if you're aiming for long-term simplicity, higher deliverability, and a setup your devs and marketers can both live with, MailTrap gives you one platform and one less headache. Want to see how MailTrap stacks up against other platforms? Check out the rest of our videos on email API flexibility. I'll see you there.